with my dad, I used to go out in the forest and he would teach me the trees and the plants and the mushrooms and things like that. And so I guess I just enjoyed doing that. And later on, I, I like learning a little bit about plants and things like that. So finally, when it came time to go to university, I decided that uh, biology would be a neat thing to do. So I got into biology. And once I was in biology then, I couldn't decide if I like plants or animals better. So I had friends that had already chosen birds or plants and they were already fanatics about these things, but I, could, I couldn't decide. And then as I went on with my studies, I figured out what I really like is the interactions between different animals or different plants or animals and plants or interactions between the environment and the organisms. So that's how I became an ecologist, to study interactions between in the food webs and the, the influence of the animals and plants on the environment and the influence of the environment on the animals and plants. So then I don't have to choose if I want to do more animals or more plants. But over time, I also figured out I liked a lot the, the mysteries of what lives in the water. The water looks like it's all the same everywhere. It's very flat and it's transparent and it seems like everything's the same. But once you look under the water and you see the creatures, then I got very interested in that. So then I became an aquatic ecologist. So, so I worked in aquatic ecology for a little bit and then I was hired by Parks Canada and now I'm a northern ecologist and I do a lot of different things and very little aquatic ecology now. I learn about permafrost, sea ice, uh, tundra plants, remote sensing, but uh, the, I've done just a tiny bit of aquatic ecology since I'm with Parks Canada. So that's the job of uh, being a monitoring ecologist. You have to know a lot of things about different things. 